What's up, everyone? Well, yeah. No, uh, we put the wheels on Nick's car so he that way he could go get an alignment uh, for his car. Uh, so he didn't have like skinnies on the rear and drag radials on the front. And so we put a matching set of wheels and tires on there. That's the reason why my car is on jack stands. Um, the last video, I got my car ready so I could take it to a friend's funeral. I did take it to the funeral. I ended up melting my damn throttle cable and it's in a, a K2 one, which they're expensive. Everything K2 is expensive. So I ended up buying one locally. I bought a RSX Type S one. And so I've already kind of routed it. I still need to hook it up and work it all out and because it's, it's pretty long. So I'm gonna do that, get this running again. Uh, I did notice that my fuel pumps are screaming, which usually means that I let the car sit too long or whatever, and um, I'm sure the filters are clogged. Of E85 that's been sitting in this thing for months is probably going bad. So I'm ended up draining all that, and then what I'm gonna do is clean the filters out and do the throttle cable, probably steal the wheels back off of this thing, or we'll, I don't know, throw something on it. And then uh, go test drive it, see what it does. Let's get after it. All right, so I don't like how that turned out. It's actually more difficult to do all the ridges on there than I had anticipated. And I pre-cut it, like I'm gonna leave it for right now, but it really bothers me. So I'm gonna end up redoing that. I still have some left over. But this is the throttle cable, the new one. And like, it's super long. Goes all the way down here, I have it routed around the radiator, and then it comes around here. So, I need to kind of work all that out, and I guess I'm gonna have to like, try to make it look nice and zip tie it up or bolt it up or whatever, I don't know. Uh, need to reconnect the shift link, or yeah, the shift linkage shit. Um, there was something else. Oh, and then the slave cylinder. Down there, clutch slave needs to be bolted back up. We were kind of messing with some stuff. There's a lot of drag on the trans. Uh, I've never had carbon synchros, so I'm kind of thinking this only has two miles on the transmission. Um, it's pretty tight, so I'm thinking it might just be the synchros, hopefully, because when you put it in without putting gear, like it can be in neutral and all the wheels will spin and everything. So, so uh, just put some more mileage on it and go from there uh if it ends up being a problem yeah we'll have to pull it out um there's another race this weekend there's another race wars that i'm hoping to make but you know comes down to the wire i guess we'll see last minute all right so put the bolts in the clutch slave there's a lot of slack on this cable so we can get the focus so the good thing about the k tune throttle bodies is they're super adjustable on the rotor and a bunch of other ways too. But so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the slack out of the cable by rotating that around and then bolting it back up. So, got the throttle cable kind of buttoned up. This thing is long as hell, so I just kind of, I mean, it's all tight, and I redid everything. It kind of goes behind the radiator, and it runs up the side, and I was able to bolt it to the frame rail right there, and it kind of comes up and goes in. I mean, it's not super ideal, but it's actually really smooth. It's a lot smoother than the K-Tune one that I had. So, we're going to run it for now. Hopefully, it all works out. I need to make some changes here and reroute the harness. It's starting to look kind of busy in here and I don't like it. Um, so I put the shifter cables back on, bolted them all down, put them back on, kind of adjusted them where they felt good and like neutral-ish. So I need to come in here and adjust the shifter. So I'm gonna get on that. 
All right, so I got the got the shifter cable kind of adjusted and got everything tightened. So that's done. So next order of business is to drain E85 that's in it, pull the fuel filters out, and clean everything. And I were I went ahead and got like five or six gallons of fresh E85 that I'm gonna put in here. Uh, so we just need to do that, put wheels on it and hopefully go drive it. Sometime this week, I will be pulling out the transfer case again. I ordered a crush sleeve eliminator. Um, so hopefully we can get this thing specked out the way it should be. So All right, I don't know that I've ever showed my fuel system. Gonna have to get the old propolator out. So this is a 10 gallon, just Summit racing fuel cell. Um, everything's bulkheaded, so the return is bulkheaded. That's just the vent. And then just kind of set up. Goes through here, goes straight to the filters and the filters are bulkheaded. Uh, I'll take you down here. And then they come out there and go to the pumps up there and then continue on up. All right, so the plan is to just undo one of those or both of them, whatever, drain them into here. I guess I'm gonna go put this in my work band because it's flex fuel and it'll be fine. So, gonna drain this and then I'll end up pulling the filters out and we'll see what's in them. So if you look in here, just going by how little amount that's coming out, like it's just really slow. I mean, that should like be flowing out of there. Just means that the filter on the other side is clogged. And there's, there's fuel in there too. So I'm gonna have to do the other side, but just trying to give y'all quick glimpse of what it looks like with a clogged filter and how much fuel is actually coming out. I mean, this is just gravity bleed. It's not being pulled by the fuel pumps, but still. So just as reference, this is the other side. That's about how it should be. So, I'm sure y'all can see that. It is dirty in here. All that sediment built up. Yeah, this is just all fuel stuff. I thought it was, when it came out, I thought it was part of the line, but it's not. So, I'm gonna get all these, get all this cleaned up. Oh, this is a filter, I guess I'll show you this. pretty bad so I'm gonna clean both of these filters and slap them back in you know after looking at this I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just go spray it out with water and then I'll chase it with brake clean yeah all right so let's pull apart number two let's see what this thing looks like Got the other one drying out. Ooh. Oh yeah. 
was nowhere near as bad, but still not good. So I'm gonna go spray this one out too. I got the filters put back together. Got them bolted back in, tied back in, whichever. Uh, before I hook up these lines, I need to clean the inside of this tank out. So I'm gonna get Amanda to wipe down the inside. I tried to stick my hand out in there, but it's too fat. So she's got smaller hands. She can stick her hand in there and wipe it all out. Make sure there's no sediment and fuel crap. Um, I have one other filter. I have a, these are two pre-pump filters. After the pumps, I have one 100 micron filter, I think, or something, up at the front that I need to probably pull and clean, because I don't think I've ever cleaned that one. Pulled out the front filter, and probably should have pulled this out earlier. This looks way worse than the other ones, and it gets worse. Look at that. Like, blew that motherfucker open. Shoo! Not open, but... That's terrible. Well, I'm gonna get this cleaned out. I had another filter somewhere, so I'm gonna try to track it down, see if I can't find it. And then uh, hopefully can just replace it. So we got lucky and Nick found this box that we were looking for sitting on the shelf that has a new filter in it. So and this was by accident. I knew this was going to come in handy one day. So we'll get it cleaned up. Throw this in there and finally get it all back together. Got everything back together. All the lines are on. I put about... I don't know, gallon or two in there. So just need to start it up and see what happens. There's another fuel filter down right yonder. So I guess let's start it up and see what happens. Hopefully nothing falls in the engine bay. Let's prime the scene. Mm. Interesting. See why we got no power. I'm gonna get back to you. All right, well, apparently somewhere along the line, battery died, the brand new one. So gotta figure out where the drain is for that, but put a battery tender on it, so we'll let it charge and try it tomorrow or something. So, had some battery problems, but hopefully sorting them out. Got some kind of electrical drain or something. Uh, hopefully it was just the trunk light that was on all day yesterday. But this is what I meant about it spinning. But it's running. Maybe we'll drive it today, who knows. sucks but tomorrow I guess we're pulling the trans back out of the car it's two days until the race yeah uh <clears throat> fourth gears kind of notchy going in like it's grinding the synchro or something um so my buddy who built the trans uh is coming tomorrow pulling the trans out pulling it apart Looking it over, fix it, put it back together, go racing in two days. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna end the video there. Uh, I'll pick it back up whenever we pull the trans back out of this thing and then uh, do that and race wars in the next video. So 
you'll see all that. Or if we don't go to Racehorse. <laughs> but please like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next one.